From Amateur Radio Newsline Report, number 2445, this is Ham Nation Headlines for Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. Scientists are hopeful that a Raspberry Pi may be a key component in making underwater communication more effective. A Raspberry Pi is being used as one of the three main components of a modem that is under development by researchers in Italy to make underwater communications more effective and less expensive. As described in a recent article in the IEEE Spectrum, the Raspberry Pi is the modem's base. There is also a sound card hardware attachment which generates and records audio signals. For undersea operations, most modems use acoustical signals instead of radio because despite the slower rate at which they move, these signals can cover greater distances. By making this technology more affordable, the scientists believe its uses can be extended beyond the military or the offshore oil and gas industries into the realms of biodiversity studies and climate change. This is Jeremy Bucci for NJH. Some hams in Australia may have already noticed some new fees associated with their call signs. Beginning on the 1st of September, hams in Australia will be paying a new fee of $34 for some special types of call signs that have a 12-month assignment period. Those receiving a contest call sign will be charged $15. Those transferring a call sign to another amateur will be charged $15. And hams with a VK9 or VK0 call sign representing Australian external territories are the ones who will pay $34. The ACMA will send these call sign holders as a reminder to renew after the 12-month period. Otherwise, the call sign will be made available for reallocation on the registry. Meanwhile, hams having two-letter, three-letter and F-series call signs are required to confirm active use of their call every five years, but there are no longer any annual fees involved. An explanation of the new fees and policy from the Australian Communications and Media Authority can be seen on their website in the Amateur Radio Call Sign Policy document. This is John Williams, VK4JJW. If you're looking to upgrade your United States license or to simply make a start as a technician, a new online resource has become available, and it's free. Hopeful candidates for the U.S. Technician and General Amateur Radio Licenses can now turn to a free self-paced study guide being made available on the educational platform known as Super K Nova. The courses were developed by the National Radio Astronomy Observatory with the help of a grant from Amateur Radio Digital Communications. Both the technician course and the upgrade to general class focus heavily on fundamentals of the electromagnetic spectrum and the basics of radio waves and propagation. The observatory said that this makes the material valuable for those in disciplines outside amateur radio too, such as individuals involved in science, technology, engineering, and math careers. The coursework makes use of licensed study materials from the ARRL. Jesse Alexander, WB2IFS, the project instructor, said in a press release that, quote, this is a great opportunity to share amateur radio with a new generation of potential ham radio enthusiasts. We've designed this course to introduce learners to the electromagnetic spectrum while developing radio skills and knowledge, end quote. This is Stephen Kinford, N8WB. And that's all from the Amateur Radio News Line, your independent source for amateur radio news since 1976 at arnewsline.org. With Jeremy Boot, G4NJH, John Williams, VK4JJW, Stephen Kinford, N8WB, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. 7-3, we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.